you guys, it's Shandera. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we will be trying the Aloe Soothing Sunscreen by Kohl's RX. So Kohl's RX Aloe Soothing Sunscreen will run you $14.00. And 31 cent at yes style I just wanted to look up Amazon price just to be curious and Amazon price is about $24 so you know what Amazon I'm gonna just go ahead and stick to yes style <laughs> with that being said you can use code Shandera for 10% off that price I just want to let y'all know Amazon is a mess anyways with that being said you guys let's go ahead and swatch this product okay so here's the sunscreen um and this is what it looks like look at that creamy texture can y'all see that that is so, that is one of the cutest little swatches i've done in a while let me turn the light down just a little bit okay so here we go that is the swatch of the sunscreen that is what it looks like what do you guys think i mean it's just blending in with my ashiness would you look at this <laughs> Um, so there is a bit of a scent. It's not a loud scent, but it smells like heavy perfume and lawn clipping. So I guess we could say clean scent. Like when you smell lawn clippings, I think you know it's clean. <laughs> it's, you know, it's that scent that, you know, it's like a aloe vera scent. You know how companies put aloe in their stuff and then they want to come up with an aloe fragrance? It kind of smells like that, but not the real aloe vera. I mean, aloe vera smells. So the, the aloe vera smells, this smells just a little bit, but not as bad as aloe vera. <laughs> now this is um, a no white cast sunscreen. I do want to say that. You know, I've been wearing this sunscreen for a few weeks now, but we we will see we will see in this video do i look like a purple blueberry honey so i know you guys blueberry season is in and the dehydrator is on full blast now i'm so excited <laughs> y'all see is it a white girl oh no oh no <laughs> You guys, I'm just joking. Calm down for those. I am just joking. So while we're at it, let's just go ahead and do a close-up. So this is what my skin looks like. Um, let me go ahead and turn the light down. Um, what do you guys think? Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait about 10 to 15 minutes. Let the sunscreen do all its work and then we are going to do another close-up but this is just so far what it looks like there is like no white cast i mean this just looks good okay you guys it's been 20 minutes and here is that kohl's rx aloe soothing sunscreen um here's my cheek here's my other cheek here is my forehead and here's my chin what do you guys think bam bam um, <laughs> you know what? Um, it just fell on the floor. So you know what? Um, let me get the mirror and pray the mirror doesn't fall on the floor. I don't need no bad luck. Um, you know, my skin looks really good. Um, I have a lot to discuss. So let's talk about it. There is just something about Korean sunscreens where they really get it. And it's something American sunscreens just don't get. I haven't pinpointed it yet as in testing them, but they just really get it. When it comes to like not having a metallic or funny taste in your mouth, I've never had a Korean sunscreen do that to me as opposed to an American sunscreen that does that to me all the time. I mean, you know, Korean sunscreens just do it way better, but that we could debate that at a later date because I got a whole list we could go over. <laughs> just talking about why Korean sunscreens are amazing. With that being said, let's just talk about this sunscreen specifically. I actually enjoy this sunscreen a lot. Um, when I know I'm going out for a really long day and not just running errands, but I'm going to be out and about, this is one of my go-to sunscreens. One, because it has aloe in it. And I notice with my sunscreens that don't have aloe in them as opposed to this one is when I am running errands and I am going about my day, when I come back in the house my face feels dry it feels really 
um, dehydrated, just a lot is going on with my skin. But when I do wear this sunscreen, I don't have any of those issues. And I really boiled it down to the aloe in this sunscreen. It's just so nice. And if you are a person who likes to get a really great tan or you like to sit in the sun and you like to tan, some people just like to do that. I'm not judging you anyway. This is a great sunscreen to have because it's just going to help soothe the skin if you are sitting in the sun without drying your skin out. And even with certain sunscreens, they tend to dry the skin out in my opinion and leave your skin feeling really, really dry. This one after a long day still helps my skin feel really, really hydrated, just really, really nice. I actually find myself after I apply a serum, I just use this sunscreen because this sunscreen sort of mimics a moisturizer in my opinion, as well as a sunscreen. It's like the best of both worlds where I feel I don't need a moisturizer and I live in a very dry, arid climate. And if I don't need a moisturizer with this sunscreen and it really sits nicely, then for you guys who live in really humid climates, you probably really don't even need a serum. You could go in with a really great toner, really great essence after you cleanse your face and just use this uh, sunscreen and you will get a lot of hydration from it in my opinion because it's just a really great sunscreen. I've never had blackheads with this sunscreen. I've never had a breakout with this sunscreen. I will say if you do have oily skin, you may feel it to be a bit heavy, a bit greasy on you. But because my skin is sort of combination dry leaning because I live here in Arizona, it doesn't look greasy on me. It doesn't feel greasy to me. It's never sweat in my eyes and it has never given me a metallic taste. It is really a nice sunscreen and you don't have to do a lot of rubbing with this sunscreen at all. And that's one of my favorite things about this sunscreen. So this sunscreen is really easy to apply and it doesn't mess up your skincare. And I noticed that a lot with sunscreens in general is that a lot of them really be messing up the rest of your skincare. Meaning I've had balling, I've had peeling from my other skincare depending on the sunscreen I've used. I've never got that from this uh, sunscreen. Certain sunscreens when you're applying them and rubbing them into your skin just feel like they're just sticking to your skin instead of melting into your skin. I like the fact that this sunscreen just doesn't sit on the skin and just be sitting there feeling sticky and just be there and then eventually it dries out and you have to reapply the sunscreen. You're like, what is going on? With this sunscreen, it literally melts into your skin and I really love that about this sunscreen. Now, I do want to say this about this sunscreen. Um, it gets confusing. I know for me specifically because I'll be out for long periods of time and I tend to reapply sunscreen like I know when it needs to be reapplied when I'm out for like, you know, a long time. With this sunscreen, it is so hydrating and it looks really great on the skin that I sometimes forget that this sunscreen needs to be reapplied as well because it has so much hydration in it. I just, it just totally misses my mind. I'm like, oh my God, I need to reapply my sunscreen. So I will say that's how great the hydration is with this sunscreen. Like it really moisturizes your skin while protecting your skin from the sun. Just be careful with that. If you're like a little airhead like me and sometimes with certain sunscreens that work well as moisturizers, you'll forget and you need to reapply it. Um, with reapplying this sunscreen, I will say is I've never had any issues with balling and pilling and I've reapplied apply this a lot like I will tell you I've reapplied this about about three or four times and it's never felt heavy on me whatsoever but I do live in a dry arid climate so if you live in a humid climate this could get heavy on you so I will say be careful depending on the climate you live in you may not want to reapply it as much as I do but y'all know if y'all watch my channel y'all know I reapply stuff a lot and cake it on and I've really never had an issue with this sunscreen with caking it on with that that being said, I think this is a really great sunscreen. I do think if you have oily skin, maybe you should be a little careful because it may be a little bit heavy on you. If you have combination oily leaning skin, you should be careful as well because you may feel it to be a bit heavy on you and you may want to use less of this product. If you live in a humid climate, you may want to be a little bit careful with this sunscreen as well because you may find it to be a bit heavy. Um, I also want to say people with acne prone skin are prone to break out 
um, this could be a hit or miss for you because of the fragrance especially if you have sensitive skin the fragrance is a little bit uh, loud but I will say that the aloe in this sunscreen is very soothing and very calming to the skin so it may be a hit or miss for you that's why I say that with that being said other than that I really enjoy this product and I would suggest if you're on the fence go ahead and try it and then you get no white cast and it looks really great on your skin with that being said you guys those are my thoughts on Kohl's RX aloe soothing sun cream let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below about this sun cream slash sunscreen have you tried it what are your thoughts do you love this sunscreen is it a hit or miss for you let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye you guys Mwah.